agriculture research service. And I suddenly thought, okay, this is a looks very good uh, opportunity. I will go for it. I applied. But still, I went even, my center was in Lucknow. And I thought, uh, uh, no, I, I want to go for private job. I will not go. I came back from Lucknow without appearing examination. On the first time. But by that time, my would-be wife, <coughs> that time, she appeared for ARS. And to my surprise, she became ARS. <laughs> And then all my PhD colleagues, we had a very good group in Pantanagar. And uh, they said that, see, look, if you want to marry her, you have to become a <laughs> And that's how very next year I appeared for a and I became a <laughs> And all, all my uh, desires to become an industry man vanished. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe the man proposes God. So uh, one more thing is if I give uh, more importance to individuals' creativity. Innovations and many other things come later, but you students support your creative person. What is up? Brain should be active. What does it mean? You keep your brain active uh, to support your creativity within you. That is foremost and very, very important. So Go into a profession which supports your creative. And if you are creative, you, you go in any profession, you will be successful. If you follow something else which is not your passion or which is not uh, related to uh, what creativity part you have understood within yourself, you will not get success. That is very, very important. Something which I was uh, just uh, listening. You have to have very good CV. CV writing is one thing, the presentation, but you have to develop yourself to write a good CV. If you don't have CV, a good CV, you cannot become anybody. And let me tell you, 99% of the people on this, uh, uh, your surroundings, do not know how to write CV. And if you are going to be the 100th one who writes a good CV, you can get what you want. I tell you, even I cannot write my CV. And uh, who wrote my CV? Amile bolte, what I would like to tell you that Minda ka se ghara saveshe. You should have somebody who criticizes you very promptly and rightly. So I had one <laughs> in my house only. <laughs> And it, it was it was that uh, person who wrote all my things, and I am really grateful for them. <laughs> so uh, you always find when well, somebody uh, you require for career uh, advice. That's one another advice uh, that the only gave you today. You really require, it. and you find out uh, who gives you career advice. Some somebody that's why in the colleges and other places we have mentors. If somebody is a professor or somebody is attached to you and he gives you advice, you you 
have should have a very good fruitful discussions with your mentors they can help you in advising your team that is another very very important thing so uh, i i am afraid that i started giving you another talk on <laughs> so i'm not interested but um, many good things this university have started over recent uh, period under uh, your program or any other research programs in the university you should be all the students i would particularly pg students are here i i would uh, say that you should be aware what's happening in your own university what are the innovations or what are the technologies being uh, developed within your university and it's not only a job this is the time now where you should think as entrepreneur we are talking about skill development entrepreneurship development and um something uh, like that any any place where uh, you can grow as a individual and as a uh, career development you should be sticking to it once you know that ki, this is something of my interest try to know about it minute details about that subject you should be know that is very easy nowadays people get most of the information in youtube or uh, similar sources in internet you always don't depend on what is taught to you in the classes so if you have a passion about something collect all whatever information is available it should be with you somebody was telling about uh, when the university or uh, the uh, company will recruit people and all if you want the job find out and it is known yeah uh, unish ji gave you a lot of uh, ideas on those lines but it is your your work that that much of homework you should be doing if you don't do then uh, don't you don't expect that you will get a uh, suitable job you see you have to find out ek program hai tv pe uh, which i always uh, see and all all young youngsters i will ask you you should be very regularly watching it shark tank entrepreneurship development if you want to be entrepreneur you should see that program there are so many things which uh, those sharks discuss ask question how do they ask what are the factors i really get impressed with many of the entrepreneurs there i always tell um, even uh, the students were on strike outside i told the same story to them i would like to tell you again one lady came on their uh, program and she was uh, having a business of selling some food material which she cooks <coughs> the story started she said that her husband died during covid and she had nothing she said that what i can do was only one thing i knew some good uh, indian food uh, recipe is known so i can cook it she started preparing that she said that i had only 500 rupees so i started business with 500 rupees and then uh, started selling whatever she cooked to nearby people uh, whoever and then she was cooking well so she had customers quite fast then she her son was a school dropout after 11 standard that fellow didn't go to the school the school that boy also was there and then suddenly the shark asked what is the 
current level of business you do. That lady said that I started with 500 rupees. My today's sale is about 5 crore. Within two years. You know how, how it made possible? So the entire marketing system has changed. My son helped me. But he said, your son is a school dropout. How is that? So they shifted to uh, that boy. Boy said, I dropped out from the school because I had some good interest in computers. And I was not in computers. I was studying some other uh, degree. But then I got interested from YouTube and so many other computer-based things. I learned how to do coding. And I started preparing, preparing small apps on some computer applications. And one of such ap application, he made it for his mom. And he developed a complete online marketing channel for her mother's preparation. And she started getting all the uh, 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 orders and other things she started dispatching. And then two guys, he, he had another school dropout along with him. And he was also doing some work on marketing. So they both school dropouts, not related to computers, had all the information on computer and developed the entire online channel with uh, uh, that marketing system, which within two years time, developed that particular business from 500 to 500. So we, we, we all were really thrilled to look at this. And uh, the group is from Pune. I'm still selling, uh, and they uh, Shard gave him quite a big amount of uh, uh, financial support, and then the progress is shown. So, friends, I just want to tell you this much <laughs> see that if you are there in agriculture, fine, get a good information on agriculture, get passionately attached. But I, I would uh, still quote Puniji that he said that you change your uh, change you make at first at 10, then at 5, very, very easy. Another important point, and then change, every change is possible. And that is the reason why the latest education policy is going to give you all possibilities. You can change your degree, you can leave your one degree and take certificate, go into another degree, everything is possible. And internet has made all the difference. Education is not something which you can take only through the university. This is a formal education system, minimum standards we are maintaining, but it doesn't stop you. It doesn't stop your uh, creativity, it doesn't stop your uh, passion for something, do something which you are passionately involved, you will be always. <laughs> so, with this note, I thank you for patient hearing and I am uh, thankful to uh, Mr. Puniji who came here and gave a very good uh, innovative or uh, thought provoking and uh, different kind of a guidance to all of you. He has covered many good things and uh, if you follow at least few of them, you will be definitely successful in your study. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your